Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sunrise channel, my name is Shanks. In today we are going to defend the Helm's Deep in the Age of the Ring mod for BFME 2, the Rise of the Witch King in the Two Towers campaign. Let's go! Farmers, barriers, stable boys. These are no soldiers. Most have seen too many winters. Or too few. This is a fight we cannot win. It will become a massacre. Look at them. They're frightened. You can see it in their eyes. Boyahun, Nele Terai, Dan Karmenik, Veriafafun, Amar Nanedelas, Aragorn, Nedin Dagor, Hen Urir Author, Natha Dagathair. Then I shall die as one of them. Aragorn is angry. We have trusted you this far. You have not let us astray. And Legolas is sorry. <laughs> I was wrong to despair. That is no Orcon. That is no Orcon indeed, Legolas. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, look at this beautiful oh, graphics of this Helm's Deep castle. Open the gate. And we get Haldir and a bunch of elven warriors. Defend the Deeping Vault and Main Gate. Say no more, I got you. We have also, of course, the three hunters, Gimli, Legolas and Aragorn side by side just like in the films. It's a huge elven army by the way, but I mean that is the most accurate version of the Helm's Deep ever. That's not even that good in Battle for Middle Earth 1. Uh, we can't say the same thing about the gameplay just yet, we will see at the end of this mission of course. Uh, but for now, I'm pretty impressed, at least about the graphics. It's a huge Elven army now coming to defend Helm's Deep with us. How is this possible? I bring word from Elrond of Rivendell. An alliance once existed between elves and men. Long ago we fought and died together. We come to honor that allegiance. We are proud to fight alongside men once more. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. The Urukai will arrive in about two and a half minutes. And we need to get ready for that. We right, so let's go woods. all down to the Deeping Wall. Elves, over here. We have already some units around the wall to defend ourselves. And yeah, I gotta be honest, I've been trying this now for many, many times. So I know what's gonna happen. I've been failing many, many times. That's what I'm trying to say. Always some random stuff actually happened to me. And I was not able to finish this one time just yet. Hopefully, this is gonna be the one, boys. Hopefully, this is gonna be the one you will get the chance to see on our YouTube channel. Like the wind. So basically, the first attack is not going to include any ladders. So that means it's going to be quite easy for us to defend. And as for the units, uh, the best units here in this one are definitely the, the spear throwers. Because they are the best ones when it comes to take down the siege weapons like rams or ladders, for example. And by the way, also that's of course the hard difficulty and not like easy or medium. We have also you know, a lot of power points from the spell book. Uh, but only a few of them are actually going to matter in this one. The Galadrim must defend the Deeping Wall while the men of Rohan defend their keep. No problemo. So basically what, the, what does it say to us is that we are not able to use any of the Alvin warriors to defend the gate. That's not possible. And look at the Palantir at the bottom left side. Some cutscenes from the films. Which, yeah, always is like a goosebump. You know what I'm saying? Like Helm's Deep. In Minas Tirith War, in the Two Towers, and also in the Return of the King, is just awesome. So let's right click on some of the abilities. This way, we don't have to manually do that. A heal, you know, extra from Gimli. Legolas Hold Strike can always be right clicked. We have a huge army now in the middle. And the attack is going to happen in about 50 seconds. We are not able to recruit any more units, so basically you have the stands, which, you know, what you can see on your screen. And from these stands, you are able at the beginning of the mission to recruit like peasants, spearmen, you know, spear throwers, archers. And I didn't want to record this part of the video or this part of the mission just because Aragorn had to go to Theorin first, to Gambling then, and then to Gamma, and then to Elvin, to Legolas, to Gimli. So basically we had to move around the entire Helm's Deep just to be able to start the actual mission which is of course defending that against the forces of Isengard and I didn't find it very interesting to be recorded to be honest and in about five four oh my goodness two one 
Here they come. Oh my goodness, man. It's always like a great feeling, you know? And that's the... Um, I, I don't want to say the hardest one, but kind of very strange mission of, of the Helms of the Deep. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this also in the comment section down below. Like this Age of the Ring campaign, you know? Fight for Rohan, Generally. So let's use both with Aragorn too. Just, you know, because until they will make it to the wall, Aragorn won't be able to get the chance to kill some units. So Aragorn is in this mission also fight able to fight with the bow. Urukai Manslayer. Settle. Oh boy, the freezing rain. Which means we have no leadership bonuses available right now. Freezing rain is of course a nullifier. Shuts down our entire leadership bonuses and also debuffs us on top of that. Okay, so yeah. Hammer has no abilities by the way in this one unfortunately. King Theodian has the armor but again we have no leadership available right now. Shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to find you a box? <laughs> this Gimli's love always gets me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh. We can't understand so Elvish. Aragorn. So it begins. Here they come, boys. Here they come. But again, the first attack, as you can see and tell, they have no siege weapons. This way, they have also no way entering the wall or breaking the gate just yet. Now, it might look easy, but trust me on that one. It's going to be very Doctor, tough in, a, in about a minute. Just be patient. Swiftly, Guardsmen. We'll defend our lands. Our homes must be defended. Italy. Steady your bows. Send them back Beard. to their underworld. Send them back to the oh, underworld. Shoot for the neck. Hold them here. All right, power points are rising, but again, that's a mission. It means the amount of power points we are able or we are allowed, we are allowed to, you know, to pretty much collect is kind of limited. So we are not able to get limitless power points unlocked in one single mission. What does the king command? Good. The others are coming. Good. This way, Gimli can finally start slaying some Uruks. Take them down. So basically, for now, we are in a good spot. Ladders are coming. More Uruks, more pikemen. And ladders are kind of tanky, you know? You Let can't them burst them down rise. fast enough. Mount the assault. Again. Especially not with archers. Like, when they are getting actually mounted to the vault, then you can use your heroes to kill them. But you can see they were shooting now the ladders for a long time. The Uruks are moving to the gates, so we gotta be careful about that. But first of all, let's check the wall and defend and kill all these ladders before more Uruks are making it to the wall. But also at the same time, we need to watch over our gate. Very important before they are able to break it. And we also recruited at the beginning of the game a couple of peasants. Because peasants in this mission are also able to repair the gate for the worst case scenario. Because basically, if they break your gate before they are allowed to, you will lose. If they break your wall before they are allowed to, then you will lose again. If any of your heroes dies, guess what? You will lose. The main gate is under attack. But let's kill these ladders first. Oh, now we gotta kill this. You see this units, this Uruk's units? We, oh my goodness, hitting like a truck. We need to repair this, man. That's why we have those spear uh, throwers. They are great against us, by the way. And during all this time, our peasants are able to repair the gate as well. We always gotta pay around, uh, attention around this side as well. Peasants can repair me. Yeah, yeah. We know that. I mean, I've been playing this now for many, many times. I know everything. Uh, hopefully, I will be also able to execute my knowledge in order to win this mission. <laughs> Explosive mines. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Again, if they break the gate and... Back to the shadow. All right. Stop icing up, please, any mines. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, my friend. But guess what? Again, again. Actually, some of the units are not shooting, right? Why not? They are ranged. Do you see the units at the top right side around the wall? They are not shooting. We gotta kill the mine, though. I cannot bear this pain. Oh, hide it, hide it, hide it. Don't die, don't die, don't die. The Berserker, just like in the films, hide it, I'm telling you. Let's use heal to heal up our units and also hide it. Our heroes, we gotta always keep an eye on our heroes, guys. They are not allowed to die. If any one of these die, it's GG. Goes fulfilled for experience. But, yeah. 
we need to first of all take care of these units before anything else and the primary thing is always kill the ladders kill the rams if they are trying to destroy the gates in this uruks as you can see and tell they are extremely tanky and our peasants were luckily able for us to heal up the gates to full that's why it's very important for you to recruit at least one battalion of peasants if you want to be able to win this mission i'm up to 17. i'm up to 17. another round yeoman why are they not able to attack? Do you see that? They are kind of lost, this X uh, or the Spear Throwers, Reda. And a couple of these ladders have Berserkers, and holy moly, guys, these units, they hurt. When they hit, they hit like a truck. And they have like splash damage too. They will be able to hit multiple units, multiple units at the same time. So basically, we are now kind of clumped in the middle, and we have not many units around the side lanes, which is yeah, not the best case scenario for us, but it's okay. They are trying to surround us. Mist can be used. Mist is a debuff. Which is going to make the enemy units a bit weaker. They will deal less damage and they will become less tanky. Hold them here. How long do you need? How long do you need? Aragon, draw your sword. We must thin their ranks. Hold them here. Alright. Maintain your balance. Maintain your balance. Let's heal up with Theorin. Who's also able Protect to heal up yourself. the nearby allied units or heroes. And more ladders, holy guacamole. What is that? I shall Protect like yourselves. Fear no darkness. Do not give in. Fear no darkness. I mean, there is no darkness. There is rain, Theodin. Please, pay attention. Fear no freezing rain. That's what you are trying, what you're supposed to say. Stand fast. Oh, the crossbowmen, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Steal like, when you don't do that manually, they will, you know, keep attacking this Uruk shield bolt units, and they are almost invincible against our units. I'm a little fuzzy right now. Do not give in. All right. Fire into their heart. I don't know, man. Let's use Rallying Horn, I guess. For 50% more damage and armor buff. Do not give in. And we gotta kill the crossbowmen first before anything else, because if we lose the units on top of the gate, we have no chance of holding it. Fire into their hearts. Ready your bows. Oh yeah. More minds, ladies and gentlemen, more minds. And we gotta destroy them as soon as possible. Our units are able to hit level 17. 5, which is max Protect level yourself. in BFMA 2, the Rise of the Witch King. And since Age of the Ring is a mod for the Rise of the Witch King, it's been the Fear same yourself. situation also for this mod. So we are not able to have like level 10 units, unlike in Battle for Middle Earth 1 or Battle for Middle Earth 2. That's not possible. The Deeping Vault will be overrun in about a minute. That's like scripted, by the way, that's gonna happen. Like, you are not able to deny that. And that's the thing I am not happy about this, uh, about this mission. At least for my, in my personal opinion, because it's very scripted, you know? We have, like, uh, certain ways you need to play it, you have no other choice. While Battle for Middle Earth 1 was giving you way more freedom. Like, you would be able to leave your castle, go for an attack, get units on the field, whatever you like. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But here, everything is, like, scripted to make it, like, almost like in the films. You gotta kill this, come on, please. Protect yourselves. Kill the ladders before they actually make it to the wall. Alright, we are in a good spot. In. Defend, our lands. Defend our lands. Stay in control. Please repair this. Marks, Always need to do that, do that manually, of course. They won't automatically do that. Which kind of makes sense. The then you would not to to need to play, of course. Hmm. But this actually, this resets it. Reset is... I believe it's from the heroes. It can actually be nice in later on, maybe. Uh, we, we're gonna see that. We can actually maybe go for like, uh, yeah, I have a couple of ideas. Hopefully, we will be able to implement them. Kill them all! Kill them all! But we gotta kill them all first from, you know, the ladders. The shield bearers, they are so extremely tanky. Let's use hide one more time. Hide is like a really low cooldown that means you can just abuse that use it multiple times just to make sure that the enemy units are always debuffed Do not give in. oh nice we killed the ladder just in time boys very important and please please kill this ladder already gimli attention 
Gamma or whatever your name is. Hammer, Gamma, Gambling. Do something. I believe they will now br break the ball, right? More fireworks. We all must fight. We are in a bad spot, actually. We have not many units around anymore. Oh, that's kind of... Oof, can. I don't know about that. Drive them from our land. Drive them from our land. Let's use again, that for... Again. It's pretty much the same like the rallying horn. But also, like, I believe they heal. They get healed over time. To the shadow. You gotta kill this. Please, 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 please. Why is it so tanky? It one more, one more. Go, 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 go. Please. Oh, nice. We, we, nice, nice. Okay. Very important to kill those mines. What? The deeping wall will be overrun, but there was like a minute ago already, right? I'm very confused now. Do we have now one more minute because of that reason? Protect yourselves. Just kill the ladders in the meantime, please. Please. Oh my goodness, they have even more ladders around this area. Kill. Gimli. Do it. Level 10 Hydra. Let's go. Level 10 Aragon. Level 10 Legolas. Only Gimli is level 9. Because Gimli is a melee hero, of course. But Aragon is also able to shoot in this mission. We'll defend our lands. Yet another. Okay, if we can kill this, it would be awesome. Come on, Gimli. Oh, nice. He's dealing a lot of damage actually, to the ladder. Uh, they are actually easy to be taken down from the heroes, but the problem is they are hard to target. I think that's the problem. More units are coming all the time. Aragorn, please take down the ladders. Please. This one's mine. This one is mine. Finally. Oh my goodness, man. And again. You are mine. We do everything we I think this has been now showing for the third time, right? The leaping wall will be overrun. Is it bugged or something? I'm not sure actually what's going on. Heal. And again, did you see that? That's crazy. Why are you, why are you showing? What? Oh yeah, okay. Boom, chakalaka. Oh my goodness. The wall is falling into pieces, just like in the films. And you are not able to deny that, by the way. That's gonna happen. The beautiful wall. It always hurts my heart when I see it falling into pieces just like that. Oh my goodness. Now it's charge time. Defend the deeping uh, comp. Go, 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 go. Keep at least four hordes of Galadrim alive. I will try my best to do that. Now we are using the spell from Ganza, uh, from Aragon, of course, for more DPS for the nearby allied units. They are, you know, shining bright like a diamond. Go. Elven warriors. Elven warriors. Missed right here at the, at the choke point. I mean, gold is kind of useless, but we can get it on cooldown because we are not able to uh, get any more units on the field. Your command points are limited in this one. Let's go actually for the arrow volley here. And I think about that. I think in a choke point like this, we can go for arrow volley. Or hidden volley, it's called, right? Yeah. Still at 17, Legolas? Yet another. Oh my goodness, man. Actually, Fiesta. My ass. What are you guys doing down there? What the heck are you guys doing here? <laughs> I don't know what's going on now. I think I gotta be honest, it's kind of like, at some point, it's kind of a bit buggy too. The wisdom of the Eldar for experience points. Let's stun them, let's ex experience. I mean, this is like kind of yeah, like a, like a. Uh, freezing rain kind of style. It's gonna nullify enemy damage bonuses, I believe, and they will lose also a chunk of armor uh, damage and also combat experience. Objective completed. Great. Nice. Actually, can we try to save our Haldir? I'm up 
Let's try to get the trio, the monster trio, to the to the vault, shall we? Maybe we get the chance to save Haldir, unlike in the films. Would be awesome. Arrow volley right now at the, the choke point. Haldir is surrounded at the leaving wall, reaching before he's overwhelmed. Okay. Let's try to do that. Unfortunately, our heal from the spellbook is on cooldown. Oof. Um, we're gonna try anyway. Leaf attack! Oh, oh, oh. oh Haldir's health only 60, 55. Oh, here's some cooldown. Haldir is. But Haldir, you are getting one shot at my dude. How am I able to, to save you, my friend? Oh man. Back to the shadow. Back to the shadow. Retreat all troops to the Hornburg. Alright. Let's do that. Stand fast! Stand fast! Defend our lands. We will fight for Rohan. Fight for Rohan. Defend our lands. Yeoman, march! Guardsmen, attention! For Rohan, for our people. Hold them here. Come together, hunters. Come together, hunters. So basically now we need to kind of defend uh, the gate and also, of course, the, the Great Hall of the Helm's Deep. The Deeping Wall has been overrun. Uh, just like in the films, we have a couple of peasants ready at the gate to repair elven warriors. for the worst case scenario. And until we are able to make it to the stage, our elven warriors, which we are not able to control, are going to hold this broken part of the wall. Until the next part is going to begin, if this makes sense for you guys. Again, it's pretty scripted, you know. Okay, so Legolas, level 10. Aragorn, level 10. Gimli is level 10. Our Rohan heroes, unfortunately, are not level 10. And we gotta place them all on top of the wall. Um, retreat all troops to the Hornburg completed. That's nice. Prepare a defense in the Hornburg. Attack will resume in about uh, one minute. So we need to position our units perfectly around the... Give them also bows because they were fighting with the swords at the bottom side. Keep in mind. You need to always manually switch them to the weapon you want to you want them to fight with. Elven warriors. Move is the order. Does the king command? Okay, so basically, you see, uh, yeah, these spear throwers are gonna be our uh, main or priori priority uh, saw, uh, force when it comes to kill the enemy uh, ladders. Not ladders, sorry, the, the, the rams later on. Okay, so we have only 25 seconds time left. Oh man. This is kind of intense, God. Huh? And also, when it, I, but they are so. They don't want to listen, man. Come on now, please. <laughs> do what I'm telling you to do, I'm telling you. Like the wind. Like the wind. Defend our lands. Sons of Aeo, here for yourself. We do everything we can. We do, I mean, these peasants, they have the same voice like in Battle for Middle of One. We do everything we can. Our gate is fully repaired, and there we go. We can't hold them here. Don't you draw it. The gate. Draw your sword. They are advancing. Fight. One thing I need to Raise say: you cannot skip those animations. That's not possible. All right. The Hornburg won't fall while we defend it. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Hold the main gate as long as possible. And for that reason, we gotta kill those rams. And again, those units are the right units when it comes to do that. And our peasants, once again, are able to repair the gate for the worst case scenario. And look at the ladders, the big ladders. They are trying to climb the wall, of course, to get on top of the wall. And we are now able, just like in the films, to get Aragorn and Gilney side by side, defending the gate. The gate must, be hold, must hold for at least four minutes. Okay. Hmm. Ready, elves. Get your bows ready. All right. Um. We also use the mist for the debuff, by the way, for the worst case scenario. I mean, just to make the enemy units a bit easier uh, to kill, since they lose twenty five percent of their armor, and also they will deal twenty five percent less damage to Aragorn and Gimli. And Aragorn and Gimli, of course, are already beefy. You know, they are tanky heroes. And Aragorn is Atelas or the King's Foil, which is called here. 
So we don't need to pay attention anytime soon since they won't get bursted down from any anybody. Nobody can can one shot them, you know? Stand fast! Stand fast! But killing those Rams with Aragon and Gimli actually harder than I was expecting it to be. So we gotta repair as soon as we get the chance to do that. And we also need to hold the gate for three minutes and twenty-two seconds. Which can be a really long time. Gildan is almost level 10. Again, always keep an eye on the heroes at the bottom side of your screen. Always. Because if you don't pay attention for like 10 seconds, you might lose one of them and boom, you have to re restart again from the beginning of the mission. You draw far too much attention to yourself. Sorry, man. Did Aragorn just blame me? For drawing attention? So should I say thank you or should I say sorry? I don't know. Protect the woods. Protect the helm, sleep maybe for a change. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. What was that? Explosive mine? No, the, the, the suicide bombers, right? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, now it makes sense. Alright, run them down, run them down. Please kill. It's so hard to target. I mean, I think the game's engine is not designed to have like a massive army like that look there's there is so much happening right now in the game you see like these big ladders the uruks are climbing the vault everything is scripted of course like many units are coming it's so much for the game's engine to handle that of course in the ultra settings like our pc is not lagging but the game itself is lagging from time to time you can see we are uh, in those kind of situations playing like with five fps okay Heal up. This is your end, creature. All right, so we have only two minutes and thirty seconds left, in which we have to keep the gate protected. Defend our gate. Throw them back. Defend our gate. Pull them back. I'm trying. I mean, Gimli and Aragorn—they are beefy, though. They are very beefy. They are tanky as hell. But the problem is, uh, the rams, they ignore them, of course. They are trying to desperately, you know, make it to the gate in order to destroy it. So they can make us lose this mission. But not with me. Not today. The day may come in which we are going to fail this. Not only once, twice, three times, five times, ten times. But eleven times. But it is not this day. This day we are going to defend Helm's Deep. By all that you hold dear in this good castle. I beat you. Don't you dare to die. And make me lose this one more time. How long do you need, How long do you need to kill these rams? Exactly. Come on now. Alright. Only two more minutes, guys. Can we actually manage to win this this time? Please. Protect yourselves. Repair, repair, repair. Stand fast. Stand fast. Leap attack, boy. Oh my goodness, Tyrion, what, what is hurting you that much, my friend? The King of Rohan. Godsmen, attention! Attention! Oh my goodness, Earthquake! I mean, again, we don't need to be worried about Aragorn and Gimli anytime soon, since they are beefy. Again, again, steal yourself! Steal yourselves. I have been doing this for thousands of years. Stand fast. The ram, uh, the ballistas yes. are actually quite annoying. So it it's not like they are killing us in no time. It's much more. Can I actually kill them somehow? Because the archer damage against ballistas is very bad, and those ladders, by the way, they are untargetable, so we cannot attack them. That's unfortunately the case. The rams, though, so triggering. One minute and 20 seconds. Come on now. Oh, oh, you see that? It don't hurt Aragorn and Gimli, luckily. Heroes are kind of kind of strong against those units. But we need to make sure that they are not getting to the wall, uh, to the gate, rather. Right, huh? In which they can actually deal massive damage to the gate. Let's use the gold for no reason. We don't need that. We have over 9,000. Uh, you know, we can't invest it into anything else. More rams are coming. We gotta kill those rams ASAP. Um, Gimli is kind of hurt. Let's use Leap Attack. And Faithful Protector from Aragorn for more DPS. And Aragorn, please, 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 please. Just kill the Rams already. Come on now, please. Okay. Oh my, they hurt. Uh, Gimli, go back. Atelas can be used. King's Foil. Repair, please. Protect yourselves. Fight, men of Rohan. Fight, men of Rohan. 
Oh my goodness, man. Behind you. Behind you. Okay, we, we killed the Rams and we have only uh, we only need to keep the gate protected for 40 more seconds. The ballistas, they are so triggering. Stop it. Stay focused, elves. Whoa. With haste. With haste. This is the way. Be watchful for the enemy. Elves, over here. Over here, elves. Uh, I, I believe we gotta find a way to kill those ballistas uh, soon because yeah, let's let's try to destroy them actually with maybe Legolas. Legolas, can you actually kill them uh, with your last ability, your last one, the piercing shots? Let's try to use it. For Markwood. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness, Legolas. Holy crap, nice, Legolas. Go to Legolas. But someone is hurting him. What is damaging him so much? But look at these shots. Like, that's the oh, definition of hitting like a truck. Literally. Okay, the gate doesn't have to hold the main gate as long as possible. There was the reminder. It's a reminder, okay? It's like, um, when we want to, we can hold it even a bit longer, I guess. But we don't have to, if I'm not mistaken, right? I don't want to find out, actually. <laughs> I failed many, many times. I don't want to fail one more time. Meet them head on. And we're nine. Again in their ranks. Round, more units are coming all the time. Aragon, don't... I mean, when you use aggressive stance, he's going to always go for the attack. Prepare the gate, please. Theodin King stands alone. Not alone. Today, we are defending with, Ke with Theodin King the castle of Helm's Deep. Rohan will not mean? fall to the This is your end. Creature. This is your end, Uruks in Isengard. Please kill this. Spears. What does the king command? Ready your bows. Spears. Ready your bows. In country. Oh my goodness! How are we able to the kill battle. four rams at the same time? We can't. It's not possible. How long do you need? Look and you see how strong they become. Yeah, because it's scripted. Because we are not allowed to keep the gate protected. Now all of a sudden Aragon and Gimli are dealing no damage to the to the ram. And they one shot. Hold the main gate. Objective completed still. But of course they are. It's like meant to be broken. You know, if this makes sense for you guys. And this is what I was trying to say earlier, by the way, because uh, they are trying to make it force it to be just like in the films and giving you almost no freedom of your own playstyle. You know. When while in Battle for Middle Earth 1, for example, you have much more freedom when it comes to play this campaign. Alright, let's retreat to the Great Hall. Go back. I mean, Theoden King stands alone and you already know what we need or, or who we need to turn this around. Like the only person who can save the humans, the men, in the worst possible Scenarios. Who, is this, who might this be? Of course, it is Denator. <laughs> I'm joking. Of course, not Denator. Ready, elves. Ready, elves. All right. Our heroes are almost all of all of them level ten, beside the two Rohan heroes, uh, Hammer and and Gambling. It's not the worst case scenario. Um, mission is retreat all heroes to the Great Hall, and I believe that's gonna be like inside the jeans, right? Yeah. Go to the Great Hall. Come together, my friends. And well, by the way, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Is this channel is dedicated to the RTS games, especially to the Battle for Middle Earth games. And also, let's use Rallying Horn for more DPS. And make sure to check me out on my Twitch channel as well, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. The link for that is in the description down below. Bonus objective completed. Keep at least four hordes of Galadriel in my life. Say no more. I got you. Let's use Arrow Volley or Hidden Volley. Oh, what's happening? Hello? Oh, they are trying to break it. It is over. 
The fortress is taken. You said this fortress would never fall while your men defend it. They still defend it. They have died defending it. What can men do against such reckless hate? Ride out with me. For death and glory. For Rohan. For your people. For your Shot people. Rising. Yes. Yes. The horn of Helm Hammerhan shall sound in the deep one last, last time. time. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Now is my favorite moment, ladies and gentlemen. Let this be the hour when we draw swords together. Let this be the hour when we defend Helm's Deep together, boys. Now for wrath. Now for ruin. And a red dawn. And a red dawn. Four building us. Let's write them down. Oh my goodness. Defeat the Urukai. See no more. Let's go. Oh my goodness. What a satisfying moment. And all the suffering was worth it to see this beautiful scene in this beautiful mission. Helm's team is always one of my most favorite, uh, you know, scenes in the entire Lord of the Ring trilogy. And of course, playing that makes it even better. Write them down. Write them down. For death and glory. For Rohan. For our people. And by the way, also Legolas is able to get mounted. Of course, Aragorn is able to get mounted just like in the films. And decide the fate of the Dunlending forces. What is that? Quickly now. Quickly now. Uh oh. Guys, let's go. Watch this. Aedan King stands alone. Not alone. Not alone. Rohira! Who is the dismounted guy next to... <laughs> what? There are two dismounted guys Rohira! next to... <laughs> Eome and Gandalf. To the king! Let's go! Write them down. And we're gonna now, boys. Let's watch this, please. Now is the glorious moment. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of spoiled it because I said glorious. Because it is time. Ladies and gentlemen. What a glorious charge. Welcome back. Let us draw swords together. Arise, arise, riders of Tilly. Spear shall be shaken. Shields shall be splintered. A sword day. A red day. Ere the sun rises. Booyah. Oh, it's so laggy, though. <laughs> Five FPS, by the way, because there are, there is just too much happening for this game's engine. I mean, there's nothing to do with the PC or something like that. By the way, if you are lagging in this mission, it's absolutely okay. It's not your fault. It's not because you need a better PC. It's because the game just needs a different engine to run this such high graphic settings and also this many units at the very same time. How long do you need? Look how many heroes we have now the chance to control with, you know? <laughs> like, holy moly. Like, the entire list at the bottom side is full with heroes. And we can reset it and use it once again, just like that. The world's ending! Be ready. Be ready. They have no chance. I think at this stage of the game, when you make it this far, like, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just kill all the Isengard forces. Aragorn, uh, Gandalf is only level 8, uh, so he has not the war of power. The you shall not pass moment is not there quite yet. Victory! We have victory! Let's go! What is that? You are amongst the ranks of the enemy. Yet you did not fight. I had no choice but to pledge myself to Saruman's cows. Okay, I believe we're gonna skip this kind of conversations, guys, because it's gonna last forever. And I'm gonna end it here, I think. It was a great experience. And my personal opinion about this is like, I wish it would not be too scripted and that you had like more freedom of doing stuff you would like to implement yourself about your own playstyle into this mission. Other than that, of course, the amazing graphics shining through in this one, the, the details of the of the Hornburg that you are also able to see the great hole in the step-by-step -step 
pretty much like the remake of the films implemented in a video game is always a great feeling. Let me know what do you think about this mod, about this mission in the Two Towers campaign for Age of the Ring in the comment section down below. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.